Welcome back, Goblin Town. I'm Eric, this is Goblin Salvage Rights, and this is one of six unboxing videos coming your way. This one's actually a box. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a look at this little bad boy, and we're gonna flip it around. We're gonna look inside, we're gonna rub it a little bit, and we're gonna see if this thing belongs on our shelf. In this case, we have the Pathfinder 2nd Edition Harrow deck, H-A-R-R-O-W. It sounds like tarot, and well, it, it, it kinda is. So there's a tarot deck in here that's specific to the Pathfinder 2nd Edition campaign setting. First thing we're gonna do is take a look at the box that it comes in, cause this looks like a book sitting on your shelf. It's pretty schnazzy. It looks like a flat kind of a background art here, which is easy to scratch. So if that bothers you, keep an eye out for that. However, it does a little bit of the glossy gloss and that right there is kind of cool. A little bit of a hologram feel. We got some nice feathery kind of stuff going on here. Calligraphic writing. Um, I'm, I'm digging what I see so far here. So I believe this guy was uh, $39.99 and it comes in a sexy box that I do not want to throw out. I'm gonna open said sexy box right now. And this is magnetized. So when you close it, it does a little clippy clip thing. Pull it up, open it. And just like any other tarot deck, if you're into that sort of thing, uh, it presents as so. Open the box, here's the tarot. Fancy yellow ribbon, I like that, nice touch. This is a, a luxury item, it's not something every player is gonna wanna have. Uh, and some instructions on how to actually use this tarot deck. I don't know how to use a tarot deck, I just like the way they look. And I like how, specifically the Ravenloft um, deck they use for that campaign setting, I use that to write adventures, more on that later. The first thing I'm noticing is that there's a combination of a glossy quality around the perimeter of the artwork. It shimmers, see, it shimmers. And then there's sort of like a flat matte quality up to the art. I love the flat art. I love that coloring. It's, um, it's delicious, it's satiny, but it's also easy to scratch. So be careful when you're handling these. There are tarot size sleeves you can sleeve this whole mess with, but then that gets rid of the matte quality. So you win some, you lose some. This card right here is called The Beating. Uh, there's a blood red moon, scary, creepy looking tree. There's a guy hiding. Uh, it's evocative. The colors are saturated. I'm gonna make a spread here. All kinds of art, art and more art. The betrayal. An elf with a head on a plate, that's evocative. That's that side. You look at the back of these and they're super shimmery, glossy, almost like those old basketball card uh, holograms they used to make. I don't know if they still do those anymore. That's pretty amazing. You got the matte quality between the glossy. They took a lot of care with their decisions on how to present this deck. So it's not just like a deck of Hoyle cards with dragons on it. That would be boring. Uh, th there was a lot of really cool stuff and thought gone into this. At the end of the day, when you're done using this, what do you do with it? Well, with any other tarot deck, you probably wrap it in a piece of cloth or something to keep it safe. But this handy dandy box just lets you drop the cards when you're done with them right on top of the rib ribbon in the box. It's nice and smooth. You put that there and you close said box with or without the rule book. I'm totally going to throw that away. And clicky click and you have yourself a nice fancy harrow deck it works just like a tarot deck like i said there's the major arcana there's minor arcana there's numbers all that crap's in there for you to find out on your own and that's what's inside this uh 30 item i believe 40 item maybe worth it for some maybe not for others for me i'm sort i sort of collect everything pathfinder brings so i'll buy it anyways will i use this as a player absolutely not I have zero use for this as a player. As a collector, you better believe it'll be on my shelf because I'm that guy. As a GM, would this be useful? Well, absolutely, because people have been using tarot decks of all stripes to design games and sessions and scenarios for years. I did it with Ravenloft. Uh, people do it with Harrow. I'll make a video on how to, how to do that for your game using whatever deck you happen to have. I think GMs will get some use out of this, players less so. And collectors, well, we grab everything now, don't we? That's all I've got for this particular unboxing video. Hopefully it was useful to you. Let's keep it weird together, huh?